Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital, and today we're looking at Arduino libraries. Welcome back everybody to this third installment of the Arduino Basics series. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any updates including videos like this one. So today we're going to be taking a look at Arduino libraries and how we can use them and how they're already being used with some things in our model railroad, especially if you use DCC++. Now first of all, let's talk about what an Arduino library is. Arduino capabilities are extended to the use of libraries, and libraries increase the functionality of Arduino sketches. There are libraries for working on hardware and manipulating data. So basically what we're talking about is it gives more functionality to the Arduino. And there are a number of libraries that are included with the Arduino IDE. Okay everyone, we're in our Arduino IDE, and let's take a look at some of the library functionality. So we're going to go ahead and go up to Sketch right here and we're going to go to include library and when we go in here we see a bunch of libraries that are already included in the Arduino IDE that come with it you don't need to do anything they are there when you install this program and then you have recommended libraries and then you also have contributed libraries which you can actually see is DCC++ Uno which is some of the libraries that are needed for doing the DCC++ base station so let's go ahead and click on manage libraries once you get into here, it's going to update your list of all your installed libraries. And then it's going to scroll through and take a look. And you can see some of these, the ones that are installed are marked as installed. And other ones are not marked as installed. So when you have one that isn't installed, so let's take a look at, we have an Ethernet one, we have a keyboard one, an LCD one. Let's look at this MIDI one, which a MIDI is a is a connection for a musical instrument and we can click install we can pick which version we would like of it and it installs it and now we have that library installed so let's say you want to install an Arduino library like the DCC++ library or something like it and it is not part of the Arduino examples and it is not part of the list in the library manager and you had to download it well first of all you'll need to download it as a zip file and then you'll need to go to include library and click add zip library. We're going to go into our downloads. And I've downloaded this one called Audio Master. And we're going to choose that one. And you can see it says down here, library added to your libraries. Check included library library and we'll click audio. And you can see that it has these audio libraries and it actually includes two header files right there. So that's how you upload a new library into Arduino and you put it into your programming. Now there are a lot of libraries from people who are way better at coding than me that have done a lot of cool model railroading projects that you need to know how to put a library into your Arduino software. And that's kind of why we're doing this. We're going to be doing another tutorial down the road that I'm just now researching where we're going to need to load several libraries into the Arduino programming software. So this is kind of a primer for a bigger tutorial that we'll have down the road that I'm actually still working the details out on. So I hope this helps you out in understanding the Arduino a little bit better. A lot of the more complex functionality of Arduino does involve libraries so if you really want to dive into libraries this is where you want to go. So thank you guys so much for watching these Arduino basics tutorials and they're going to be leading into some more complicated stuff but I also know that you guys just love watching trains run and we haven't shown a lot of trains running on this channel recently so I figured I would show you guys some trains running around my layout.
So that's a little bit of a glimpse into Arduino libraries. If you want some more information on libraries and how to use them and how to write your own libraries, I'll link the Arduino.cc page to all of this in the description below. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any updates, including what videos like this. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Happy railroading.